Hello, distant learners. We are going to learn a little bit about Mount Rushmore today. Um, to start, we are going to look at our flags and other symbols magazines. So you're going to want to get that if you don't have it. Um, pause your video and get it out. Mount Rushmore is on the page. Ten and eleven. So we'll start on those two pages. So again, if you don't have it out, you can go ahead and go get it. And we will start. So you are looking at on page ten and eleven, Mount Rushmore. And um Mount Rushmore honors four presidents. Which ones do you know about? So we have George Washington. We learned a lot about him. Last week, Thomas Jefferson. It's right there. And then Teddy Roosevelt or Theodore Roosevelt. It's right there. And then Abraham Lincoln, who we also learned some stuff about last week. So, this is Mount Rushmore. I'm going to read a little story about Mount Rushmore as well. So, you can enjoy this. It's called Joy at Mount Rushmore. Joy likes to go, her mother said, and so they did. By plane, by car, they traveled far, and here they are, wow, where the trees reach up and the mountain looks down. Down, down on the folks below, where little Joy laughs and little Joy goes. Giants, Joy said, pointing high to the four bold heads they, that held up the sky. Presidents from our past, her mother replied. They led the country and then moved on, but left their mark, where the morning sun and the evening star light up the sky for the folks below, like you and me, who laugh and go. Can I go too? Joy wanted to know. Up and up like the mountain goat with the tiny feet who paused and spoke along the path. I know his name. His name is Roy. He gave me a wink and told me so. Roy said he could fly high and higher than you or I up to the giants who rule the sky. Goats don't have names, her mother smiled, and goats don't fly. They merely clamor along the rocks. They eat and play and sleep in the sun. But what do they do when the day is done? Joy wanted to know, and wisely so. They sleep like you, my little one. Joy closed her eyes, her legs relaxed. Her mind went far, past the setting sun and the evening star, to the sound of hooves that dance on stone to little bone feet that jump and run. Someone was looking joy in the eye. Someone was calling an animal tongue. Wake up, come on, there's stuff to be done. Good stuff, fun stuff. Stuff for two kids, wild and free. Stuff for you, kids like, stuff for two kids like you and me. She opened her eyes to goat wink, goat dance. Goat prance on the mountain rocks, high above the earth below, where folks like Joy once liked to go. Where am I? Joy asked, then shouted with glee. She clapped her hands. She just had to see. You're with my friends, the little goat said. Washington, Jefferson, Roosevelt, Lincoln. During the day, they sit around thinking. But during the night, Joy asked with a grin. During the light, little Roy echoed, they share a secret that no one knows. Except for two kids who come from below, that's the time enchantment begins. And scu sculptor Borglum walks again. Joy wheeled around, she was feeling cold, till the little goat nodded and she grew bold.
Welcome, Joy, to my mountainside. I'm Goots, Gootsan Borglum. Want to ride? Joy and her friend, they were up for fun. Joy and her friend, they wanted to roam. So as hot as high and as far as Borglum would go, so they jumped in fast. They didn't say no. He took her hand, come meet my crew, Gus and Howdy, happy too, the best of 400 who carved the faces. Braved summer's storms and winter's snowy traces. They climbed up and down to make the dynamite blast. Put up with me and made me laugh. We, had, we made history in South Dakota's Black Hills and put a face on these wild granite spires. Up they went both high and far till the three of them swung in the wooden car out and out and out past Washington's chin with Howdy's jackhammer poised on the rim. Joy watched the stone chip. She watched it fly. She watched a face exposed to the sky. How did you know the faces were there under the stone that you laid bare? How did you know the eyes could twinkle, the lips hold firm, the cheeks would wrinkle? How did you know you'd find them here, waiting for you without any fear? Of all the noise you were going to make when your drills turned on and the mountainside quaked? The past has a face, Borglum said with a grin. I've seen it before and I'll see it again. It's here in you and it's here in me. It was here in the stone that I set free. The past is passion and fire and chance. It's freedom to do and freedom to be. In a word, we call it democracy. Hey, cover your ears or you're, you'll, you'll hear a charge as my powder man sets the dynamite blast. Let's get out of here and let's go fast. The last Joy saw was old George winking and Borglum poised on the noise, nose of Lincoln. She rolled with the goat, she smiled with glee. They somersaulted wild and free. He did his dance, she did hers too. She let Roy show her what to do while the mountain slipped away from view. Joy opened her eyes, she blinked them wide. She'd figured she'd rolled down the mountainside and had an adventure in the dark of night. Then she saw her mom and her eyes grew, were, grew bright. Guess where I've been, she asked with glee. You've been with me, her mother said. You closed your eyes and you went to sleep. That can't be true. I traveled far, past the road and the trees and the evening star. I climbed up high. I saw the faces of the proud bold men who made this nation. She opened her fingers without further word. And there in her hand, like a sign from the past, was the fluffy goat's fur she had snagged in the blast. Joy smiled her smile, and she winked her wink at the four bold men who made her think. She knew what she knew, and she always would. The past has a face. Now she understood. And so then on the last page are some facts about Mount Rushmore, so I'll read them to you. So like I said in our magazine, there are four presidents on Mount Rushmore, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln. They were chosen for the carving on Mount Rushmore to represent 150 years of the birth, growth, preservation, and development of America. 90% of the mountain carving was done using dynamite, like they kind of read, told us about in the book. The tram was used to get workers to and from the top of the mountain from 1936 until work on the memorial stopped on October 31st, 1941. The faces are carved out of Harney Peak granite, a hard rock, very resistant to weathering. Each head measures 60 feet from top to chin. That's as high as a six-story building. A crew of 400 workers, led by the sculptor Gutsan Borglum, preceded the faces. Um, 
Ponderosa pine is the most common tree seen at Mount Rushmore and in the Black Hills. Animals commonly seen at the Mor memorial are mountain goats, chipmunks, squirrels, cottontail rabbits, raccoons, foxes, coyotes, white-tailed deer, and mule deer. Mountain goats were brought to the Black Hills of southwestern South Dakota in 1924. Oh, today about 150 mountain goats live in the area. So this is a little bit about mountain goats as well, which I think I'm going to skip now because we don't need to know facts about the mountain goat. We're talking about just Mount Rushmore itself. So, um, so anyways, I hope you enjoyed learning just a little bit or seeing just a little bit about what it looked like when they were carving and getting Mount Rushmore made. It was kind of cool to see, um, since it's all done and now you just go visit and see the heads all carved in stone. So you're going to need your American Symbols book next. If you don't have it, pause your video and get it out. And then we'll be on Mount Rushmore, which is the um, fourth page. So I will write a word on my ice cream lines and hold up the pause card. You can pause your video and write the word. And when you're ready, you can start your video again to write the next word. So our first fact, we're gonna go line by line in our book. Our first fact is um, where Mount Rushmore is located. It's located in South Dakota. So here is South Dakota. Let me wipe off South Dakota and write the next thing. The next fact says a sculpture of blank U.S. presidents. So Mount Rushmore is a sculpture of four U.S. presidents. Each head is a blank feet tall. Do you remember what I read in the book? 60 feet. It's called Mount Rushmore because it's carved into the side of Mount. Rushmore. Um, the sculptures are made out of graphite. last line. Mount Rushmore is a symbol of freedom and hope. Well, those are all our facts. Now you are going to take out those crayons and color in the picture. I hope you had fun learning about Mount Rushmore. Bye.